How do you find your materials? Well, what I get is a nice fine day uh, and a car, you see, and there's plenty around in the countryside. And uh, I used to go out an awful lot and fossick, and it didn't matter if you found anything or not, but the countryside to me was so confirming and so beautiful and so exciting and anything could happen you see it's marvelous it's a wonderful freedom and it wasn't till I'd driven around quite a lot looking at the countryside that I discovered the country dump every old lady who died got thrown in the dump more or less and all her possessions and all her old magazines and all her everything so I got into things but usually weathered battered old things got life in it you see and what you're trying to get is vitality it's the source of life you're trying to get in your things. This is what it's about. So how do you decide what to use once you've got it home? Well, you get it home and you try to give it shelter if it needs shelter from the elements. And then when the time comes, you walk among it and you think, that's nice, now I can do that with that and that with that and put things together a bit. Mostly dependent on what Wordsworth said, um, emotion recollected in tranquility is think of something that it reminds you of or why you like it or whatever and it is that Wordsworthian thing that past experiences get woven into the work things you've felt not about how it looks it's about how how you feel about it and and my aim is to get something up that I want to look at you were well into your 50s when an almost overwhelming success finally came to you was there ever any danger that success would spoil Rosalie Gascoigne? Well, I don't know, because you always know there's something better, you see. You never think, I'm it, and are complacent about it, because you know, you see things out there in the countryside that are better than anything you can produce. And uh, it depends what your goals are, I suppose, and what, uh, what your platform is. I'm always saying that about your platform. If you're being frightfully egotistical, and thinking I'm great and I can do this and this and this and you turn into a factory really and you make the things you can make well this is not good enough you've got to go on and so many people in the art world I think get to a sort of peak and they think uh, well I suppose I suppose I suppose vanity enters into it but they do what they're able to do and what you've got to do is to pull off something that isn't in the palm of your hand before you started.